Hello and welcome to Retro Tech 100. A couple of weeks ago I bought one of these on eBay and I said I had an upcoming project for it. Well today's the day. Um, my buddy Easy Hacks, he has made me a base for this controller for a Raspberry Pi to sit in. He asked me what colour I wanted and I said red of course because it's the best colour. He's got a tutorial on his channel and it shows you how to wire up your Raspberry Pi to the controller and he's got he's made about six of these bases maybe more for giveaways on his channel for people who comment in the description that they want one and he made me this one special because it's red and I love red so I'm going to do that today but I suggest you go to his channel and look up the tutorial if you want to do it uh, the link is up here you're not going to see any soldering on this channel I hold the world record for being the worst soldier in the world, so I don't want to embarrass myself. But I will show you me on taking this apart and putting the gubbins in here, minus the soldering. Okay, let's open the controller. So I bought this controller. I think it was three, three pounds seventy-five, and it's I actually quite like it. I'll probably end up buying more just to have the controllers. They're limited to how many types of consoles you can use, obviously, because I've got two two buttons, but uh, I'd rather like them. So it's four wires you have to solder onto the board. I dare say, if you want to do this project, you could probably squeeze in the Pi Zero into the base, but it wouldn't be perfect for every one of these controllers, because they're not perfect. But you could do it on most controllers. You just have to make sure you connect the data lines to the uh, controller board in the controller and then the power. Come on out. So Forrest, aka Easy Hacks, he's also made an image. I'll have a link in the description. So that's already done for you. I mean, it's, it's easy enough to do it, but the problem with the Pi Zero is it's got no onboard Wi Fi. And connected hubs and stuff can be awkward because it they draw power from it, and you have to have kind of a convoluted system of wires to hook it to your PC or whatever. So, a pre made image is the way to go, really. You want to set it and forget it with a Pi Zero, you don't have to add stuff to it because it can be awkward. So, that's what you've got inside. You'd have seen this on a previous video if you've seen it. I'll probably link it up here somewhere. So, you've got one screw holding in the buttons and the controller board. So, what we want to do is we want to cut here and we want to wire this board. So pins on the back of here. Like I say, um, I'm going to have to watch for a tutorial now. So it'll be these two pins for power, and then probably two the two pins here for data. But I'll make sure to check obviously before I go soldering things to things. That's soldering done. Don't look at me soldering. Shaman. Right. First thing I'll do is put. It's board into position. A couple of screws. Not salvaged from a broken router. Find the right ones now. Don't look at this. It's never happened. Yeah, I'm just learning. Like all of us, we're just learning. Any luck it will work and I will be pleased and I will do more. If it doesn't work, you'll never see this video. Okay, take two of these. Oop, take one of these. <laughs> right, I'm just going to secure this in with one screw for the moment. Probably near the port area would be a good idea. I need to reassemble this section.
Then there's here's that section reassembled. Now to make it a marriage. So we get the screws in order like this. Your data and your power is connected. So all you have to do is put in a HDMI lead, a power wire. And it should work. So fast forward to the next day. I got a bit sleepy, so I thought I'd finish it today. I'll put the controller board in for the controller and I'll put in the SD card because I've got to burn it. So that's it all assembled. Now I've just got to put the screws in. I just had to put the screws in off camera because it could be awkward working around a tripod. This is the finished article. As you can see on the 3D print, there's HDMI there. And you've got like USB and power. The only thing about this soldering method is it renders the USB port. You can't plug anything into it. It doesn't work. But you're not going to want to plug anything into it anyway because the 16 gig image is already in the by zero. Um, there'll be a link to the to the image in the description. It's already done, so you're never going to have to plug things into it, which is good because with the Pi Zero, it can be convoluted mess of wires to get things plugged in, you know, hubs and stuff like that. There's your HDMI port, and I think the red and white combination looks rather nice. So let's see it working. So, put your HDMI in, which shows the right way around. And your power in the power hole. Hello. Here we are, it's booting. So it asks you to, uh, Boot the controller, so just hold A. Then you go into the uh, configuration up, down, left, right. Start, select A, B, and round buttons. So we just hold the buttons to go through. So that's it with the wires all built into the controller. Let's try a few games. So what we have on this image, a 16 gig image, ready made, is Atari 2600, 7800, Lynx, Game Gear, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, some MAME, Sega Master System, Mega Drive, Neo Geo, Nintendo, Pocket Color, PC Engine, I'm back to RetroPie. This too has the fixes. So these are fixes already built into the image instead of having to mess with your config files. You've got to check how much disk space you have, factory reset controllers, flip the Genesis to Mega Drive and PC Engine to Turbo Graphics. Uh, if you've got no audio on your HDMI, try this first. I always use this on this television. Uh, you've got no audio for 1080p. No audio for 720p, enable overscan and disable overscan. So let's have a go of 7800. What do we fancy? And he's got these images for all the games instead of having a black screen.
like it, Mimi. Made a mistake. Yeah. Okay, I'm not so good at Phoenix. already so greedy so as you can see you can get quite a lot on 16 gigs the torrent for this image will be in the description down below it's for the pi zero and the pi one so that's the finished project a pi zero and an s controller all that fun in one little package this has been Richard Tech 100. I'll see you next time.